translucent fish discovered in Pacific Ocean. A group of scientists have discovered three new types of translucent fish. Three species of translucent fish without scales have been found in the Pacific Ocean by a group of scientists. According to researchers from Newcastle University, the three fish have temporarily been named pink, blue, and purple Atacama snailfish. According to USA Today, they were discovered in the Atacama Trench, an 8,000-meter deep trench located off the west coast of South America. The fish can handle extreme pressure and are translucent with no scales. According to Thomas Lindley of Newcastle University, the hardest bones in the fish are located in their inner ear to help them maintain balance and their teeth. In a statement, Lindley said, without the extreme pressure and cold to support their bodies, they are extremely fragile and melt rapidly when brought to the surface. Keep watching for more amazing animal stories. Abandoned cat found with two pounds of fur weighing it down. If you thought you'd seen every kind of crazy cat video out there, well, think again. On December 16th, the Animal Rescue League shelter in Pittsburgh posted these outrageous photographs to Facebook of a kitty in desperate need of a snippety snip. The cat's 82-year-old owner had Alzheimer's disease, and when he was moved to a nursing home, the furry friend was forgotten and left behind. A distant relative showed up to leave some food out for the elderly man's cat, but he was caught off guard when something raggedly bolted out from under the bed. Using a flashlight, the man searched around the house until he spotted a cat wearing what appeared to be a fur coat for the ages. Its fur was so matted, due to the neglect of her unwittingly forgetful owner, that the cat looked like some sort of mythical creature out of an old monster movie. The man brought the poor disheveled cat to the vet, where they put her to sleep so the long overdue haircut could find the commence. Free of her furry shackles, 14-year-old Heidi now has a new home with the man who saved her. Nice new do, kitty cat. And she even looks slimmer without the dreads. Feral cats overrun remote island in southern Japan. Hemingway's cats are doing just fine after the storm. All of the descendants of Ernest Hemingway's cats avoided a catastrophe down in the Florida Keys and made it through Hurricane Irma with all toes intact. The 54 six and seven toed cats, along with 10 brave workers from the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum in Key West, are all okay. As Irma approached last week, a full evacuation was issued for the Florida Keys. Jackie Sands, the general manager of the museum, ignored the order and stayed put. Sand said she felt she had an obligation to make sure the cats and the grounds made it through the hurricane. The cats must have known something was up and reportedly came inside once they sensed a drop in barometric pressure. The 18-inch thick limestone walls of the house helped a little too. In total, 10 employees stayed behind to help look after all the little fur balls during the storm. But now with the storm gone, things aren't perfect. They don't have power, water, or internet, but they do have generators, food, and medical supplies on site. Grandma mistakes a possum for one of her cats. An animal-loving grandmother from Kansas was found to have an opossum hanging out among her stray cats. Eric Hurtline's grandmother has a big heart, especially for our furry little friends. She has her enclosed porch decked out with beds and food. Her grandson, Eric, dropped by for a visit recently. When he went to check in on the cats, his kitty sense started tingling. Right there among the felines was an opossum chilling in one of the beds. When Hurtline asked his grandmother about the little dude, she said she had named him Tete and that he'd first come to her house when he was an orphaned baby looking for food. So naturally, she took the opossum in. Since then, he's been coming back for the grub and witty conversation. Eric's grandmother really thought Tete was just a cat at first, but when she finally did see it was an opossum, she said, well, he hasn't bothered me yet, so I'm okay with him being here. Hey, if Granny says it's cool, it's cool. United keeps sending dogs to the wrong cities. United has been on a roll when it comes to pets. 
United Flight 3996 from Newark to St. Louis actually had to be diverted last Thursday because the geniuses found a dog that was accidentally aboard the plane. The four-legged flyer was supposed to be flying to Akron, Ohio, but was put on the wrong flight to St. Louis. The plane then had to take an extra two-hour detour to drop the pup off in Akron to its owners. The airline's blender turned a two-hour trip into a four-hour escapade for the passengers, who were compensated for the delay, hopefully not with another free United flight. Last week wasn't the best for United. They also suffocated a lady's French bulldog puppy and sent another dog to Japan instead of Kansas. United needs to seriously consider carrying only pets from now on. <laughs> I mean, what could go wrong? Bird in cockpit forces Delta flight to turn around. A Hotlanta-bound Delta flight was forced to hang a Yui after the crew found a bird flying around the cockpit. Before the flight, the pilot happened to see a sparrow board the plane, causing the flight to be delayed as crew and maintenance workers searched for the little feathered fellow. After a delay and an unsuccessful search attempt, the pilot decided to take off. Wouldn't you know it, shortly after the aircraft took off, the sparrow reappeared again in the cockpit, so the pilot decided to turn the plane back around. After getting back to Detroit Metro Airport, crews were finally able to grab the little guy and get him off the plane. In the end, after a considerable delay, the flight eventually made its way down to Atlanta. No word on what airline the sparrow ended up taking.